Hi, I'm Ian Call, the Technical Director of the Indoor Air Quality Association, bringing you an IAQA tech tip on psychrometric charts. If you're a restoration contractor or indoor air quality consultant, you may need to graphically demonstrate the air's temperature and humidity to a client. For example, a restoration contractor may need to graphically demonstrate that he is properly dehumidifying a water-damaged room. How do you graph the temperature and humidity of air? The answer is with a psychrometric chart. The x-axis along the bottom is for temperature and the y-axis is for humidity. You collect readings of temperature and humidity out in the field and plot them on the psychrometric chart. I like to draw a big dot on the spot on a psychrometric chart that represents the conditions. Here's an important point. The temperature and humidity in a room are always changing. In other words, the dot is always moving on the chart. As the temperature goes up in the room, the dot will move to the right. As the temperature cools off in the room, the dot will move to the left. As humidity is increased in the room, the dot moves up vertically. And as the humidity is reduced, the dot moves down in the chart. So back to the example of the restoration contractor trying to dry out a water damaged room. The contractor can plot the conditions in the room over time. If he's successful in drying the room out, he can show the client how the dot is moving down on the psychrometric chart. Not only can psychrometric charts help you graphically represent the given conditions, they can also be used to help calculate various properties of the air. For example, you may know the temperature and relative humidity, but the psychrometric chart will help you calculate the dew point temperature and other parameters. To learn how to use a psychrometric chart in your indoor air quality practice, consider taking the IAQA University class titled Using the Psychrometric Chart. Visit the IAQA website for more information.